You have been praying for your family so much, no matter if it is your mother, father, cousins, wife, husband, your own children, so on and so on. You have prayed for them. You have fasted. And you pretty much seek God for your family. As it seems, or what you have noticed, it seems like you are receiving more demonic attacks. It seems like you are going through so much in that area now. And you may wonder, like, Uncle Kev, like, what is going on? Like, I am trying to serve God. You know, I am getting better and better. Why are these demonic attacks coming to me so much? Yes, I do pray for my family. I do pray for the world. Yes, I do fast from time to time. But why are these attacks coming my way? Did you listen to what you were saying? You said that you have been praying for your family. You have been praying for the world. You have been fasting. You have been seeking God for, of course, yourself and other people. So, in a sense, aren't you coming against the demonic. Please realize what you are saying. So if you are fighting against the demonic, why wouldn't they attack back? Do you think it is going to be this one-sided thing where you do the attacking and like, do you believe they are just going to stay idle? Like, hey, pray against me, destroy what I am doing, and I am just going to sit by and leave you alone and let you destroy what I have built up. Do you believe demons are really going to do that? I believe they are going to fight back. That may explain why you are having more bad dreams or this is happening to you now and that is happening to you now. And like that may explain the increased demonic attacks where as it seems like some of your some of your family like is trying to make you angry or accuse you falsely in a mess like that i believe those are demonic attacks let's go to ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So what I believe this is saying, our fight, let me say that, is with the demonic. If you are choosing to come against the demonic, don't you believe they will come against you? 
we are in a spiritual war. I can say this, and some people may say I should not say this, but let me give you some encouragement. Not to say I am perfect, not to say that I do everything correctly, but I pray for people. I pray for myself too. I try to learn more and more of God. I try more and more to become a better person. Some people may say, Kevin, you are good at this and good at that. Okay, but I know I can become better, even if you think I am good at this or that. Some people may say I am patient, but I want to be patient more because I believe the, in general, the end product is to be like Jesus Christ. So if I am not exactly like him, there is, I believe, always room for improvement to become a better person. So if you are the type who is always seeking for righteousness, wanting to follow God, you are praying, you are fasting, you are constantly trying to do what is right, not saying you are perfect, I believe attacks will come your way. I really hope this message helps you. So if you are going through so many attacks and you are trying to do what is right, what I am here to tell you, continue to do what is right. Let's go to Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So don't become tired in doing what is right. So when bad times come your way, and this is happening this person is messing with you that is happening to you uh this comes out the blue your husband is messing up your wife is messing up uh your father mother or whomever seems like they are against you continue doing what is right continue on praying continue on fasting Continue on seeking righteousness and seeking God. What the verse is saying, for in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. So it doesn't really say when you are going to reap, but it says that you will reap. So, no matter if it is in January, no matter if it is in February, March, April, May, June, July, blah, 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 blah. No matter if it's in this year, the next uh, three years after, you will reap. So what should you do? Stay patient, and I believe this is why it is saying, don't become weary. Like, you may be looking for when times will change. You may feel like, hey, I have been waiting for a year. I have been waiting for two years and things are kind of the, like the same, like things are still bad. So you may think to yourself, what's the point? Let me give up. Let me just go back to my old ways and do things in the wrong way. Why did you begin living for Jesus Christ? 
maybe for some, they were going through so much trouble. Maybe they were in a low point of their life. So God brought you from that place to where you are now. So why would you think going back will solve anything? <laughs> are you listening to what I am saying? You have already tried doing things in your old wrong way. You know inside of your mind, perhaps, that it is not going to work. But because you may feel tired of waiting, you may feel tired of doing what is right while some others are doing wrong to you. So you may think inside of your mind, let me go back, let me go back to my old ways. And I am telling you not to do it. Continue on holding on to God. Let me stop here though. May God bless us.